What's good everyone? It's U-Turn Curlbat here and I am U-Turning into you today with something a bit different. Something I haven't really done on my channel. Now, I'm doing a Pokemon Team Tag. Now what that is, it's a little thing um, that was I guess created by Hoodlum Scrafty uh, Callum. And so, what you do is you just answer a few questions, about four questions, and then you tag uh, whomever you want to tag at the end of the video. And so I'm going to I'm going to start in with these questions. I get I did get tagged by a couple of people, and so I figured because I have the day off, I should just do it, and we should just have fun with it. So the first question is, what would your trainer class be? Now my trainer class, I've been kind of thinking about this. My trainer class, I would have to say psychic, because. And I'm sure a lot of you have kind of uh, been through this type of situation, but uh, at times I have dreamt something and it's come true. Now I, I'm sure some of you have experienced that, and I'm not calling myself a psychic by any means at all. Uh, but I think it is kind of weird, and I and I do I do uh, believe in that kind of stuff. So I felt like my trainer class would be psychic, just because it makes sense and I like it. Uh, so moving on to question number two, how many Pokemon would you have? Now, I would have six Pokemon because just like all of you, uh, you you all play the Pokemon games, and so there are always six Pokemon in your team. So I figured maybe, I don't know why that went down. I figured maybe I should just have six Pokemon, uh, just because I'm kind of used to it. I'm kind of used to having six Pokemon and. If they gave me, let's say, uh, 12, an even number of 12 Pokemon in my team, it would be a little much. So I figured, you know what the hell, I, uh, six Pokemon would be enough for me, really. Uh, so the next question is, why did you choose the number of Pokemon you chose? I kind of already explained it, but it's basically because I'm used to it. I'm used to just having the six Pokemon. It's, it's not, it's not, uh, a lot of Pokemon, and it's not... Uh, it's not a small amount of Pokemon, so six Pokemon, eh, it, it's a good amount for me. It's a good amount for me, really. Uh, the next question is, which Pokemon on your t um, which Pokemon would be on your team and why did you choose these Pokemon? Now, I, okay, let's start off with Gen 1, because the first Pokemon that I'm going, that I, uh, would have on my team would be Mew. And the reason why I chose Mew is simply because... Ever since I started playing Generation 1, Gen 1, um, I've always loved Mew. I've always loved Mew. And I've always I always tried getting the Mew on Nugget Bridge and everything. And way back when, when they had Game Sharks and everything, I tried my luck uh, doing it that way as well. And so Mew just brings back fond memories for me, so of course I'm gonna have Mew. Um, I'm gonna have Mew on my team just because I love that Pokemon. It's so cute and I just love it so much. Um, now moving on to Gen 2 for my second uh, Mon on my team, I'm gonna have to go with Jolteon. The reason Jolteon would be on my team is because it is basically the Flash in Pokemon. Uh, because it just moves so fast and it hits so hard and I love Eevee's evolution. And I love Umbreon, but as you're gonna see later in a few minutes, uh, I already have a dark Pokemon so I didn't really want to kind of uh, go about it that way. I know the Pokemon on the team would be the Pokemon that you love and you like, but I didn't really want two dark types. I, so Jolteon I chose would be on my team because I love that Pokemon. I, I do. It's one of my favorite evolutions, actually. And so moving on to my third Pokemon on my team, I'm going with Gen 2. I'm going to go with Crobat. Now, the re well, Crobat. The reason why Crobat is because if, it's, if it isn't obvious enough, I love, I adore Crobat. Um, and when Crobat came about, I was so used to Zubat and Golbat that when I saw Crobat, I didn't really like it at first, but it grew on me. That four-winged whatever, that bat, the four-winged bat grew on me. And I have seen a few things in the past where uh, Crobat's mouth is not a mouth, it's his mustache. So now you can't unsee that. And I just love Crobat. It's just one of my favorite Pokemon to use competitively. And even, even, even if uh, I'm Nuzlocke or something, it would be one of my favorite Pokemon to use uh, in Nuzlocke as well. But moving on to my fourth Pokemon, I'm going to have to go with Zora. 
Now, the reason why is I chose Zora, and I, I should have kind of done this in order, but Zora's next, whatever. The reason why I chose Zora is because it's so freaking cute. It can change into anything. It can change into anything. Look at how cute this Pokemon is, and tell me that you don't love it. Like, look how cute Zora is. I don't understand why you would not love this thing. I don't understand why people wouldn't love you. I love you. Mwah. But Zora is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, as if you couldn't tell by my league team, uh, the New London Zorarts, um, I did want uh, Tito's to incorporate a Zora in there, and so that's how it came about, and I love Zora, it's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, and it always will be. Just because it can change in everything, and it's so freaking cute. Uh, and so the next Pokemon would that, I'm, that I would choose, so I did, I did Mew, I did, uh, Celebi. Nope, I didn't do Celebi. I totally forgot Celebi. Holy crap. Well, going back to Gen 2, my, uh, my, um, my next choice for my Pokemon team would, would be Celebi. Because it's a little onion, onion fairy. Um, and it's the cutest onion fairy that I have ever seen. It's so adorable. Now, if I had the option of, uh, getting a Celebi tattooed on myself, I would. But I don't want a fairy tattooed on my body. It's the cutest thing I have ever seen. Ever since it came about in Gen 2, I was always, and I was always fascinated by it, and I was always in love with it. Uh, and, and you can travel through time with it. So why wouldn't you want a Celebi on your team? You know, a Celebi is just one of the great, greatest Pokemon I have ever seen. Um, yeah, it may kind of suck competitively, but if you just use it in a Nuzlocke or, or whatever, it's it's a great mod to have, and it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. And I, I love it. I adore it. Now, my last Pokemon that I would choose, if I'm doing this in order, if I'm doing it right, uh, Celebi, Mew, Zora, Crobat, Jolteon, yes. So, my last Pokemon that I would choose to be on my team would be Lucario. The reason why I chose Lucario is simply because the other Pokemon on my team, they don't, they, they walk, but they're not as tall as you, and they don't walk like a human. And so, I would choose Lucario because, of course, going on a journey, it will become lonely. And if you have a Lucario on your team, um, it can walk with you. It, it can't really talk, but it'll understand what you're saying. So Lucario is a great mod to have on your journey because it can just walk with you, keep you company. And I don't know, it's it's almost like you're traveling with another human because he, he walks like a human. So I don't know, I don't know. Maybe my reasoning is weird, but I love Lucario. I love it in Pokemon. I love it. I've, I love using it competitively. So, that is my reason, my weird reason for choosing Lucario, and I just adore that Pokemon as well. Uh, so moving on to the, um, actually there is no more questions, I forgot. But, you have to answer four questions. The four questions, um, are going to be down in the description because the people who I am going to tag, if they don't know the questions, they can just copy and paste from the description below. And so, moving on to the people that I want to tag. The person that I'm going to be tagging first is New Age Steel. New Age, I'm tagging you. If you, I know, I know you, that you're busy. I know you're very busy. If you don't have time for it, make time. I'm tagging you, bro. Now the next person I'm tagging is Jacob. As always, Jacob. If you don't have time, make time. I'm tagging you, bro. Now the next person who I am tagging is I am not an ace trainer. Her and I have been talking, and she's a, she's an amazing person. I was about to call her a Pokemon. I don't know if she would want to be a Pokemon, but I almost called her one. She's a great person, nonetheless. And she's just very nice. I want you guys to go check out these people who I am tagging. I hate my light so much. I don't know why, but anyways. I'm going to be tagging a couple of people that uh, I know are very busy. And so if they don't have time to do this, then it's, it's fine. I completely understand. But I wanted to tag Scruffy Scraggy. Now, I know he's busy with life. I know he's busy with a kid and just life. And if he doesn't have time, if you don't have time, Scruffy, it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to do this. Um, I wanted to throw your name out there in case you did find time to do it. But the next person who I'm going to be tagging is Miscellaneous. Now, Jack, I know, I know, I know, I know you're busy. I know. I know you're busy with work. I know you're busy with just living and just doing your own thing. But I wanted to tag you in case somehow you're able to get uh, maybe a good 20 minutes to do this. I don't know. But I wanted to tag you to get uh, your your answers for these questions. But I think I'm going to be ending it right here, guys. I did answer the four questions, and I felt like it was uh, something fun to do. 
Now, if, uh, if, uh, if, um, you want to go check out the people who I did tag, their links will be down there. Even the people who I tagged that may not have time to do this, I'm going to put their links down below as well, just in case they're able to find time to do this and you can go check out, uh, their side and check out their answers and everything for those questions. But, like I said, I'm going to be ending it right here. I'm going to be recording some stuff for you, and I hope all of you have a great day. I will catch all of you guys all on the flip side. Bye, guys. Woof. <sighs>